Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve two problem statements which were asked in Capgemini interview. Okay, the candidate had two years of experience working as a Java developer and apart from Java, he was having knowledge about Spring Boot and REST APIs as well. Okay, so when he solved these two problems, uh, he was selected and he was offered a CTC of 6.5 LPA. Okay, now let me explain you what was the first problem statement and I, I will explain you second problem statement. Okay, so the first problem statement was he was asked to print n random numbers using Java 8 features. Okay, so here he had to use the Java 8 features to generate the random numbers. Okay, so here let us consider n is going to be 5. So there should be a message saying that enter number of random numbers to be generated that should be stored into n and then the output should display those n numbers okay and those numbers should be between 1 to 100 only okay so that was the first problem statement now let me solve the first problem statement and then we'll come to the next problem statement okay so here you can see i have written a class uh, generate random numbers and inside that i have written a main method which is going to be starting point for our program execution okay so first thing what i need to do is i need to take n numbers from the user okay so for that I will use scanner class. This scanner class will help me to take in from the user. Okay, so scanner, it's scanner equal to new scanner and we need to take input from the system. So I'm going to pass the parameter as system.in. Next thing, the input number, which will be entered by user, I need to store it into variable. So I will take that into n and I will use scanner dot next in method because i need to scan a number that's the reason i'm going to use next int method and that number will be stored into this n okay so we got the number of uh, numbers which we need to generate uh, before that what i will do i will uh, write a message and ask user to enter the number so i will see out enter the number of numbers to be generated okay so enter of enter the number of random numbers to be generated okay so i'm going to generate n numbers and that n number will be stored into this variable next thing what i need to do is i need to generate random numbers to generate random numbers i'm going to use random class okay so this random class will allow me to create random numbers okay so this random class belongs to java.util dot package and uh, I'm going to use this random class to generate the random class. So for that, I'll create an object of random class. And then we have a method which is provided by random class to generate the numbers. That method is random dot ints. Okay. And this ints method can take two parameters. So the first parameter is going to be the the first parameter is going to be random number origin and the second parameter is going to be random number bound. So this is going to generate a random number and in this method I can specify actually a lower limit and upper limit and uh, between that upper limit and lower limit I need to generate the random number. So we have to generate the random numbers between 1 to 100 only. So I'm going to provide that range as a 1 to 100 then i need to generate the n number of random numbers so i'm going to use limit method and this limit method will take a parameter which will allow you to limit the numbers okay so it will generate n random numbers and then i need to print those n random numbers for that i'm going to use for each method and inside that i'm going to write system dot out and then i'm going to use method reference to print the number so system dot out dot print length which is going to print the number and then for each method will print each number which is generated randomly okay so i'm done with the code what we did so we first created a scanner class object to take the input from the user and then to uh, store that uh, input number which is going to be n we used this n as a variable after that, how we use the random class, this random class will allow us to generate random numbers. And after that, what we did, we used ints method 
with this two parameter which is actually a lower limit and upper limit for your range so one and hundred is going to be our lower limit and upper limit respectively and after that we used limit method to limit the number of random numbers so this is going to be n times so we need to generate n numbers that is the reason we use limit method with n and then we simply print it by using for each loop okay now let me run this code and show you how it is working okay so let us consider uh, i need to generate five random numbers so here i will enter five okay and you can see here i'm getting five random numbers and these are the random numbers which are generated okay so that is the first problem statement now let me explain you second problem statement okay so here you can see i have another problem statement and this problem statement is he was asked to write a java program to count the strings whose length is greater than five in the given list okay so this is the list which is given and in this list the candidate had to find all the strings whose length is greater than five <clears throat> so if you see uh we have five strings whose length is greater than five and he was asked to count those strings okay so you can say welcome it has uh more than five characters as a length then cloud tech is also greater than five characters then interview is also greater than five characters coding is also greater than five characters and questions is also greater than five characters length okay so i need to find those strings and then count it and print the count okay to achieve this i'm going to again use java 8 features okay so what i will do i will simply comment out or i will remove this code and i will <clears throat> write new code okay to take that input list what i will do i will declare a variable of type list and this is going to be list of strings i will make it as a list of string and then i will write a variable which will be used to store this list and i'm going to use arrays dot as list and i will simply take uh, the list of strings from the problem statement okay so this is going to be a list of strings okay so here we have created a list by using arrays dot as list method now we got the list next thing what we need to do is we need to find the strings whose length is greater than five so for that what i will do i will use this string list dot stream so i will take a stream out of this string list by using stream function and then i will filter the list or string by using a condition that is going to be a predicate okay and this predicate is going to be such that str dot length string length should be greater than five now here i will get uh, the list of all the strings whose length is greater than five okay once i get that link i need to count all these strings okay so i will get count by using this count method so what we did here we had a list of strings then we converted that list into a stream by using stream function and then we filtered list whose length is greater than we filtered that list with those strings whose length is greater than five by using filter function we provided this condition as a predicate and then we are going to count all these strings as uh, by using this count method and this count method will return as an integer value or long value so i will store this into a variable of type long so i will make it as a long count is equal to <clears throat> this one after this what i will do i will simply use this out statement and this i will print the count so what i will do i will simply take this <clears throat> as a i will take this uh, statement and i will print the count so here i will make it as a count so here you can say string count with greater than five digit and i will print the value of count variable okay now let me run this code and show you how it is going on so here you can see a string count with greater than five digit or five 
characters and it is going to be the count. So we got the count as a five and you can see that is the expected output. Okay guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. That will motivate us to create more videos like this and share the knowledge among all the audience. Okay guys, so that's it from this. Thank you. Bye-bye.